Hey YouTube, here to introduce you guys to Little Miss Baby Noah Sophie, uh, officially. <laughs> I've posted a few pictures of her on Instagram and she's just woken up. So she's a little tired and still a little floppy and a little angry. <laughs> but there she is. Say hello, Miss Noah. Hello. <laughs> no? Hello. Oh. Oh, excuse us. She will be three months old this month on the 18th. I can't believe it. My oldest daughter, Stella, calls her a little loaf of bread. And she is that. <laughs> yes. Um, if you guys have seen my uh, first video introducing her... <laughs> or the thought of her um she was quite the surprise uh, she is my third i have a little girl a little boy and now another little girl i am like she's a sweetheart um and she came about a month early um uh, my pregnancy journey my babies usually come um a few weeks earlier uh, by c-section and that's how she came and without she was not without drama um i thought i was just gonna go in there do a c-section come out you know two days later well no um lots of complications but we ended up coming home she was born on a monday we all came home that sunday um and everything was is good now so um, for you ladies who have not had babies yet, you know, you may have all your plans, but pl plans change in a heartbeat, um, <laughs> when sometimes, so, you know, you gotta roll with the punches, but the end result is a little bean that, uh, you know, will have your heart for the rest of your life. So yeah, there she is. There she is. Her name, uh, my husband chose. He likes the biblical names. Like my oldest daughter, um, he he did the middle name. So my oldest daughter is Stella Sarai. Um, and Tristan is Tristan Judah. So I let him take the first, the, the head, the first name this time. Her name is Noah. Um, and it's the female version of the male Noah so it's spelled N-O-A. I had lots, I love it, but I had lots of um, you know hemming and hawing on that because I wanted to name her Sophie because um, I was like she's going to have to explain her name for the rest of her life and I have to explain it until she can get to explain it because they're like you know isn't that a boy's name and they're spelling it N-O-A-H. I'm like oh my god no the female version without the H, N-O-A. They're like, oh, I didn't know that existed. It does. Um, so she'll never find it on a keychain, which is why I wanted Sophie. But, you know, it's a pretty name for a little pretty girl. And it's different. And, um, you know, we're loving it. Uh, apparently it is very popular in Israel and um, Europe, pretty much. So... Americans just gonna have to get used to it, <laughs> right? Little Noah Sophie, she's so sweet, and she loves to be held. Loves to be held. Um, as you can see, when I put her down, she'll wake right up immediately. Thanks to my husband, he holds her all the time, all the time. But yes, very happy to have added her to my collection. <laughs> Um, yes, and as you can see, I am still in my PJs because, you know, I'm and also still on maternity leave. Uh, so I um, had to up, do up my PJ collection because I rarely get out of my PJs these days with this little one who just wants to be held. So I have a few new things I want to show you guys. Um, and yeah, I really wanted you guys to meet her officially. Um, this is a Wubba Nub. These are the best things ever. They come, um, attached so that when the baby keeps losing it, it kind of, it's weighted. So it kind of stays put and the baby doesn't really lose it. But, um, in case you're wondering what this is, that's what that is. 
So, um, that is my little story. I'm not, you know, going to share all of the details. It was, you know, other than it was a tough go there for a moment and blood transfusions had to have been had. Um, and it wasn't a very pleasant experience, um, because it was not expected. But like I said, we are all okay and growing and thriving and I'm happy for that. And thank you all for your comments of her, on her and my get well comments. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and, you know, it kept me going <laughs> to sit in the hospital and read the comments. So thank you guys so very much. And you'll be seeing and hearing, I'm sure, much more from this little one. So with that, I would love to share a gift that I received from um, a subscriber. Uh, she's also on Instagram and her name is Blankets and Butter. She also um, sells these things and she was so nice enough to make Miss Noah a blanket. It is so beautiful. It is beautiful. I love the colors. I will link um, all her information below, but this, it is so soft. I mean, look at it. You can tell how soft it is and the colors are, oh, I want this for myself. It is the best baby blanket I've received. I mean, I've received the regular yawn ones and you know, they're kind of rough, um, but this can go right on the baby's skin. It is so soft. Um, and it's just a nice, long, chunky um, blanket, uh, beautiful colors, and I love it. I love it. I really, really love it. So pretty. So cute. Um, has the tag on here. Um, oh, she uh, wrote, happy birthday, baby girl. Welcome to the world. It's so, cool. it's so, so nice of her to have sent this to me. Um, and I do recommend this. I want this for myself. <laughs> Again, it is super, super soft. And then she also does these body butters, which she gifted to me as well. Um, and it is, oh, this one smells amazing. And it's just, you know, super soothing on the skin and moisturizing, especially in the cold weather. So definitely check her out um, and uh, give her some love. Um, uh, blankets and butter. This is the whipped shea butter in honey almond and it is, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like a Christmas candle. It really smells good. Um, so I will be ordering another jar of this, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for these, um, awesome gifts. I really do appreciate it. Um, and Miss, uh, Noah <laughs> will be wrapped in warmth, um, with this blanket. Um, and she'll have it for a very, very long time. I actually still have my baby blanket someone knitted for me so I keep things <laughs> um so thank you thank you very much again give her some love check her out tell her I sent you so like I said I have been uh on the hunt for cool pajamas and I found the best pajamas at Anthropology. I mean they have the best pajamas I feel and I usually wait for them to go on sale because they can be pretty pricey but this is a pair I wore this for New Year's Eve when my, I had my sister, sister-in-law and nieces over and we did pajamas and makeup. <laughs> so I wore these. I love these from Anthropology. Um, a lot of these are not, I'm going to show you this like in a little bit, are not available anymore. They sold out. But, um, you know, for you ladies who want to up your sleepwear game, and it's a little flat on this side. Anyway. This is another pair I got from Anthropology. I love the color of it. This one is a long sleep shirt that you could wear on its own, but then it also had the matching bottoms um, to it. The colors on these are amazing. Love them. Um, and I'm a small in Anthropology, but just to show you some of them. And it's just really nice when I, you know, can't get dressed <laughs> during the day um to wear nice pjs um these are from j crew 
I love these. Uh, again, I'm sorry, these are not available anymore, but check out J. Crew and Anthropology. They always have, especially Anthropology, they always have like really cool um, PJs. These are the bottoms to those. Love anything in a moon print. And um, so these are basically what I got for Christmas. This is my what I got for Christmas video. I got a baby and some pajamas and jewelry. Um, but um, this is another set from J. Crew. I actually ordered the robe to this. It finally went on sale. It was like $150. I'm like, no, I got it for $40. It finally went on sale. It hasn't come yet, but yay. But it matches this set because this is like for the summertime. You know, a little short set and the can't be you know because i was my pj game was not up to par you know just throwing on t-shirts and like sweatpants or sweat shorts and i'm like i need to feel a little fabulous when i sleep um and then this is another set so basically i gifted all of these to myself for christmas um i love this set that's the top with the shorts or with the longer um pants so what do you guys do when you sleep do you just throw on a t-shirt or you know whatever's there or do you kind of get dolled up to go to sleep i don't know i kind of wanted to change the narrative a little bit you know i mean there were times i, ha I had some nice stuff but i needed an overall in my old age of nice pjs and anthropology came through so check out anthropology if you are in the market for nice loungewear slash pjs and then in my searching of pajamas and such i found this outfit it's a sweater set it came together and I thought it was gorgeous. And it was $200 or something. I was like, I'm not paying for that. I put it in my anthropology cart, you know, left it alone. And then I noticed it went on sale plus an extra 40%. I think I paid $90 now for it. But it's nice material, very nice, thick um, sweater that doesn't look like it's going to pill. I got to throw, I got to give away so many sweaters because of the pilling. I'm so sick of this cheap sweater material. Um, so I just thought this was such a cool outfit, um, to own. So cool. So cool. I love it. I love it. So anthropology really does it with their, with their clothes sometimes. You can really find, like, eclectic things. And then I also grabbed this leather puffer from anthropology. It's in this beautiful taupe color. Um... I, th I think it's a little too big. I got it in the medium, uh, but it's sold out because when I first saw it, it, it's from Lamarck, the brand Lamarck. If you can see that. And when I first saw it at Anthropology, it was like 700 and dot something dollars. Actually, how much was this originally? $7.95. And I'm like, I'm not paying $79 for a puffer. I'll put it in my cart and wait for it to go on sale. Um, and incidentally, I put these things for anything I want. I put it in the card. So I have like a ton of <laughs> thing of uh, websites open on my phone. And every night I refresh the page and see if it goes on sale every morning too. Um, and that's how I catch these things on sale. Because sometimes some of these things, you got to catch it when it goes on sale or otherwise it will sell out. So, um, yeah, I bought, I put it in my cart, forgot about it. Then it went on sale during the Christmas season, I think for five something. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy it because I bet uh, after Christmas they're going to have an extra off, but I don't want it to sell out. So that's what I did. I bought it, um, a size medium. I should have got the small, I think. Um, but when I bought it, like a week later, it went down to $300 and I called them and got my price adjustment and now I'm keeping it because I was going to return it because I was like, well, for $500, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to return it. But I will keep it for three. This is a beautiful, soft leather puffy coat. Um, it's got the high collar. There's a scarf from um, Coach that I want to get because to go with this because I don't want that um to get dirty with oil so this is gonna always have to be worn with a scarf around it to protect it but i love the color 
That's one thing that I fell in love with. And it is so warm. I think Lamarck is a Canadian, it's a Canadian brand and them Canadians know how to do a puffy coat. So um, yeah, it is a Canadian brand. So yeah, I love it. I love it. So that's how I do a little insight into how I do my um, shopping and get these things on sale. And uh, I got all of this stuff on sale. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, wanted to show you guys officially Little Miss Noah uh, and who has been taking up all of my time and um, <laughs> making me tired. All right, ladies and gents, I will be talking to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.